When the transfer window opens at all of that, players' transfers and contracts, many people believe that a release clause and a buyout clause are the exact same thing, but that is not the case. I will tell you the difference. To what do you think about that Neymar transferred from Barcelona to PSG to be a buyout clause, or is it a release clause? Sometimes, players' contracts seem confusing, and football fans don't really understand the concepts and what they mean for players, clubs, and football fans. We will explore the complexities of player contract, a buyout clause, and a release clause. From the highest transfer fees to the most lucrative bonuses, we will break down the different types of contract. We will dive into the details that shape the beautiful game. Hi, is that Mr. Mbappe? Yeah, it's Eddie Howe. Uh, would you like to come to Newcastle? Newcastle. Yeah, in England. Yeah, I understand the laughter. Yeah, Killian. Let's get started. A contract concept in football is another sector of business for football agency and is much more complex and multifaceted agreements that play a vital role in the sport. By understanding the different types of contracts and key contract terms, fans can gain a deeper appreciation for the business side of football. A football player contract is a legally binding agreement between a player and a club. It outlines the terms and conditions of the player's employment, including their salary, bonuses, and duration of stay. Contract can vary greatly in length and complexity, but they all serve the same purpose to protect the interests of both the player and the club. There are several types of football player contract, but these are the most popular ones. Bossman contract, named after the Belgian player Jean-Marc Bossman. This type of contract allow players to leave their club at the end of their contract without a transfer fee. Standard player contract, the most common type of contract, which outlines the player's salary, bonuses, and duration of stay. Youth development contract, for young players, these contracts provide a framework for development and progression to the first team. Pre-contract, a contract agreed upon before a player's current contract expires, ensuring they'll join a new club. Loan contract, a contract that allows a player to temporarily play for another club, while their original club retains their rights. These are the few ones, but keep in mind that these types of contracts might vary depending on the league, country, or specific circumstances. For a player contract to be complete and legal, there must be a contract negotiation between the club and the player representatives. Contract negotiations are a crucial part of the contract process. Players and clubs must agree on the terms of the contract, including salary, bonuses, and duration. Agents and lawyers often play a key role in these negotiations. This is the business side for football agents, and they always play a key role in a player career. And at the end, agents cut a percentage deal out of the contract negotiation process. Neymar Jr. made a massive transfer move from Barcelona to PSG. Let's see what kind of contract scenario that made Neymar Jr. transfer possible. Is it a release clause or a buyout clause? A release clause and a buyout clause are both provisions in a football player's contract that allow for the player's transfer to another club, but they differ in their application. Release clause. A release clause is a provision that allows a player to leave their current club and join another club if a specific amount, which is the release fee, is paid. The player has the right to decide whether to leave or stay. The club receiving the release fee is obligated to let the player go. Buyout clause. A buyout clause, on the other hand, is a provision that allows a club to buy out a player's contract, terminating the agreement early. The club pays a predetermined amount, that is the buyout fee, to release the player from their contract. The player has no say in the matter and is no longer obligated to play for the club. The key difference here is that a release clause allows the player to leave if a fee is paid, while a buyout clause allows the club to terminate the contract by paying a fee. In a release clause, the player has the decision-making power, whereas in a buyout clause, the club has the control. These clauses are common in football contracts and can significantly impact player transfers and club strategies. In Neymar Jr.'s transfer case, Neymar's representatives paid a sum of 222 million euros to Barcelona, which was a buyout clause in his contract with Barcelona, which granted Neymar freedom to sign elsewhere. Afterwards, Neymar joined PSG and become the world's most expensive player at the time. The buyout clause was in Neymar's contract, which Barcelona confirmed receiving the payment and Neymar subsequently signed a five-year deal with PSG. Neymar's transfer to PSG from Barcelona in 2017 was a buyout clause. Check this video out. Why football clubs pay a huge amount of money on players' agent fees. If you enjoy this video, smash the like button and please subscribe for more videos.